The Obama administration gave conditional approval to Royal Dutch Shell to drill offshore of Alaska. Is this a breakthrough for energy? Is it an energy boom? Institute for Energy Research Senior Vice President Dan Kish joins from Washington. Dan, uh, just how much oil is off the Alaskan coast? Well, um, Mary, it's the potential, according to the government, uh, is in the billions, uh, uh, 20 plus billion barrels of oil in the uh, Arctic regions off Alaska. There are geologists who will tell you that that's a pittance compared to what is actually there. We'll just have to see. This is the first opportunity we'll actually have for them to go out and see if we have world-class deposits of oil off Alaska. And uh, most people who uh, sort of cheer for America would love to see it come to pass. Now, Dan, you don't sound very convinced that this is actually going to happen. It, is the real story here uh, just how long even this conditional approval took? Yeah, it's pretty remarkable, actually, Mary. The uh, Shell has spent over $6 billion at this point, including handing over over $2.5 billion to the government just for the right to look. Uh, it's now eight years down the road, and they have only now gotten the opportunity, been given the conditional approval, which is what they gave them yesterday, to go ahead. And, and this by itself is dependent upon seven, about seven additional permits getting um, approved by the government before they go ahead, hopefully by mid-July. Dan, are you surprised that Shell got even this conditional approval? I mean, let's talk about the politics for a second. Uh, the environmentalists on the far left of the Democratic Party aren't very happy about even this move. So why would the administration do it? Yeah, Mary, great question. The, the, the fact of the matter is the administration is anti-fossil energy, uh, conventional energy, the kind that runs 90% of our economy, and they have been from the get-go. In this particular case, they may be worried about the implications if they tell them no, because they would have to pay, potentially have to pay Shell all this money back. Uh, and so they're letting them go ahead with the full knowledge that many of the opponents who don't want any energy production, coal, oil, gas, anything, they want it all left in the ground because of global warming, uh, that's what they're responding to. And so this is a bit out of, out of uh, what we'd expect from the administration. On the other hand, to some degree, their hand is forced by the fact that this is the most comprehensive plan of its type ever to be. This, this has uh, safety net after safety net, and um, they're requiring them to spend an enormous amount of money. Okay, well, we're going to follow it closely. Institute for Energy Research's Senior Vice President Dan Kish. Thanks very much. Thanks, Mary.